Morning. Today is Wednesday, July 14th. I thought, well, let's do vlog today. Um, I talked on last week's regular episode about trying to do maybe like a vlog one week and a regular episode the next. I had a lot of people ask what the difference is between a vlog and like an episode. So to me, a vlog is like taking you along on my day or vlogging us going to a certain place. Um, and then a podcast episode is me, like a formal thing where I sit down, I share my knitting, etc. So this is a vlog. <laughs> I am finishing up my first cup of coffee and doing some knitting. If you followed along for a while, you know I like to do at least 30 minutes of knitting every morning. Some mornings it turns into like an hour, it does, but most mornings I stick to my 30 minutes because I have stuff to get done, but this morning I did knit a little bit longer. I am working on these two at a time socks. This is Legacy Fiber Arts Jack's Lament is the colorway. It's a Halloween colorway from, gosh, years ago maybe. I do not even remember when I got this, but my mother-in-law picked this out of my stash to be socks for her. So I cast them on Sunday for sock week. It's Wednesday and this is how far I am. <laughs> I am loving knitting these up. It's like a combination of loving the yarn, the colorway, being excited that my mother-in-law picked the yarn out. I don't think she's ever picked yarn out of my stash for socks. So that made me very excited. And then I'm also loving using two circulars for two at a time. These are two 24 inch Chowgu US1 2.25 millimeter needles. First time I've ever done two at a time this way and I am really enjoying it. I have these needles listed in my Etsy shop right now. If you are interested, the link will be down below. But yeah, I've thoroughly been enjoying those. When I set down, I had three fourths of an inch left until I started the toe and I'm now like four rounds into the toe. So I got a good bit done this morning. <clears throat> time to put them away though and get to work. I'll see them later this evening. I typically don't like get to sneak any knitting time during the day anymore. I'm usually pretty busy with stuff with the shop or videos for YouTube, etc. cetera, um, with summer sock camp. So yeah, not usually a lot of knitting time during the day, but that's okay. They will be waiting on me this evening. Maybe I'll sneak some in when I have some lunch or something. But I'm gonna finish this little bit of coffee that I have left, pour myself another cup, start some laundry. I need to do laundry today. That's never fun. And then I need to package up a couple of things that I'm shipping out to friends and then run to the post office. What else do I need to do? Oh, I need to go buy more coffee, a bag of coffee from Winans, one of our favorite local places. And I'll probably get a cold brew there because their cold brew is the best I've had around here. It is so, so good. So that's kind of what's on the agenda this morning. Then I have a ton of emails to answer 
and I got a box of um, chowgu needles, a bunch of stock in, it came yesterday, I don't know, I think it was like a five something. So I had already quit for the day. <laughs> so I didn't open them and like inventory everything. So I need to get that done today as well and get the shop updated. I think I'll just go ahead and update it today. We'll see. I have a couple of things I need to get pictures of. So we'll see what all I get done today. Lots of shop stuff. I also need to start looking into Shopify. I think I'm gonna be making the switch from Etsy to Shopify. I've been doing a little bit of research and it just seems like less fees and things. There are so many hidden fees with Etsy. Not really hidden. I don't know why I really say that. Just maybe fees that people don't realize Etsy shop owners have. Um, yeah, just a lot of extra fees that from the research I've done and what some people have told me, I can kind of get away from some of those fees. So looking at making the switch. So I also need to research that a bit today. Lots to do. I've called about a couple of spaces. If you've watched some of my Instagram lives and things, you know, I've been thinking about renting a space mostly to work out of, also to host maybe classes or events, knit groups, um, that type of thing. And then people could shop if they wanted. So I've been putting a lot of work into trying to find a space, but it's harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> a lot harder than I thought it would be. So that's not been going that great. So I'm not pushing it. I'm not rushing it. If the right space comes along, it will work out. And that's how I'll know it's the right space and it's the right time. So yeah, kind of a bummer that it's not really working out at the moment, but it'll work out when it's supposed to. So, okay, enough rambling, coffee, laundry, post office. Let's get this done. vlogging again so I have all the packages ready to go to the post office getting ready to head out the door but I'm gonna wait until this load of laundry is done so I can switch it so while I'm waiting I'm gonna cake up some yarn so um, Lindsay of sock witchery just finished knitting her string of lights pattern using some pretty twisted yarn oh, i can't remember the name of it it's in here this place is still a mess y'all if you missed all of the stuff we had a flood in our basement thankfully nothing was damaged other than the carpet <laughs> so all the carpet had to be ripped out um but so far at knock on wood we don't think there's anything behind the walls or like anything like that but the repairs are not going to be done to keep the water out for quite a while. Um, we're on the schedule and they're just like majorly backed up. So my office is a disaster. It's driving me crazy. But anyways, this yarn, I have it here. It's gonna be hard to get it one-handed. It's a Halloween yarn, there it is. Hey, you're crazy witch. I'm not even in the camera. Hey, you're crazy witch. This one right here. I ordered some. I could not resist her America, or I think it's, I can't see what the name of it is, but it was like 4th of July around there and I ordered that. And then, hey, your crazy witch just hopped in my cart as well. But anyways, Lindsay just knit her string of lights pattern in this colorway. And I commented on it that I think I needed to do the string of lights for my next pattern or my next sock cast on. And Teresa of Pretty Twisted Yarns said, Hey, I am think I'm going to you know, kick up my Hey, You're Crazy Witch. I was like, oh my gosh, let's knit them together and knit that pattern. So that's what I'm going to do is cake this up really quick. 
do I need to cake up yarn for socks? Do I need to cast on another pair of socks? I mean, that's questionable, but it's summer sock camp. I am the crazy sock lady, so regardless if it's summer sock camp or not, I'm kicking them up. And I'm going to finish the ones from my mother-in-law first, the two at a time ones that I'm doing, but I just bought Lindsay's pattern string of lights so i'm gonna get that printed out to get this caked up get it in a bag and ready to go so that i'm ready to cast on i also have these two project bags that have yarn in them that are for like work stuff that i need to cast on too <laughs> it's craziness around here all the socks all the time it's what i love question is do I want to do these two at a time that will keep me from casting on because I could just wait make sure I finish my mother-in-law socks and use those needles to do them two at a time on two 24 inch circulars I think that's what I'm gonna do but that means I need to split this cake into two 50 gram skeins I'll show you how I do that my little scale um i have this linked i'm pretty sure i have this linked in my amazon i'll double check but i think it's linked in my amazon storefront and i've had a couple of different little tiny pocket scales any of them work um this one's just neat because it has a little tray that you can sit on top of there if you want if you're doing like tiny little minis or something little bits of leftover scraps so what I'm going to do is just set this on here and weigh it, see how much the weight is. Then I'll wind off half of that onto a new cake, then wind the rest. So that's what I'm going to do. And I will say at this point, I don't worry about trying to match anything. I worry about if I'm going to make the match, which I'm not that, I don't care either way. But if I'm going to try to make the match, I do that when I'm casting on. I don't worry about doing that when I'm caking it up. to start them I'll if I want to try to make them match I'll just make sure that I wind off the yarn um, for one of these to match so that they both start at the same spot but I don't know that I'll get these started today but now they're ready to go for whenever I do
major bummer. My coffee shop is closed today, but there's one like eight minutes away. So I think I'm just gonna drive over to that one and cross my fingers that they are open. I don't know why this is closed. Just there's a sign on the door saying, sorry, we're closed today. So I'm gonna drive over to the other one and see if they are open, but it's a little bit nicer out and everything's dried up a little bit. So that means that I'm gonna put the top back. So that's an exciting thing. And I get to drive eight minutes to get coffee with the top. enjoying his favorite spot it's like woman quit talking <laughs> so I am back home I'm ready to inventory some needles get them restocked back here and then work on emails and getting the Etsy shop updated I think what I'm gonna do is update it put everything in there tomorrow so when this goes up the shop should be updated so head over and check it out I've got some new stuff um, I was gonna try to update the shop today but I have some things I still need to get pictures of and various little things I need to do. So tomorrow will be the day. But I, oh my gosh, this is seriously the best cold brew ever. Just black, I get nothing in it. I've got my Crazy Sock Lady Can Cozy on here because I hate like when the cup is like all wet and drippy and it doesn't fit extremely well, but it, it kind of fits. So I forgot to mention, if any of you are wondering, like, where are the kids? We haven't seen the kids today. They are in West Virginia visiting family and they will be back Friday. So I told Eric, we need to kind of celebrate this evening. This is like our last free evening while the kids are gone. Tomorrow evening, I have a VIP summer sock camp Zoom. So that'll be going on tomorrow evening. And tonight's like our last free evening. So I just text him. I was like, we need wine. We need popcorn and Dexter. We've been watching Dexter. I think we're on season three, maybe season four. I can't remember, but yeah, we've been watching quite a bit of Dexter. So I was like, that's what we need this evening. Last free evening with nothing to do before the kids come home on Friday. sitting here at the computer I just realized that lamp is on it's hooked up to Alexa and it should have turned off this morning but I don't know why it didn't um all the other ones did I am sitting here with my computer look at all my stickers I've been like sticker crazy on my case for my computer I decided to go ahead and start working on a Shopify store I don't think it'll be ready for the shop update tomorrow. Everything will still be on Etsy because there's so much to do. It's going to 110 million percent be worth it though. I'm so excited about the options to customize and do different things and just make it my own. So it's going to be worth it, but it's definitely going to be some work to get it set up and going. <laughs> It let me like transfer all my listings over from Etsy though, so that's good. All right, I feel like this has been a very chatty vlog today, but it is, it's only a little after 12. So I am going to work on this some more, try to figure out how to do all of this because I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's kind of fun. I'm not really like a tech person. I don't really like this kind of stuff, but it's kind of fun to see it all come together as you're working on different things. So I'm gonna go do some learning about what I need to do with this. Some of it's not working, but 
we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> 